It's time to put an end to this wicked curse. Hey guys, Masane Ellie here, and welcome to the finale of the Minish Cap. In the last episode, we finished off the second half of Dark Hyrule Castle. And now it's time for the final showdown. Just through this door, Vati is waiting. Are you ready? Let's go and save everyone. Ha ha ha! You are persistent, aren't you? <laughs> so, you've come to stop my little ceremony. Well, you're too late. A mere three more chimes of the bell will bring the ceremony to its end. And with the third toll of the bell, I will become like a god. And your precious Princess Zelda will be nothing more than cold, dead stone. There's no time. Quickly, Masay, to the roof. When he says that there's no time, he's not kidding. Waste absolutely none of it because there is a time limit here. However, don't be reckless. If you burn your hearts too much early on, you're going to struggle in the later portions of this fight. Thankfully, this guy went down without too much hassle, so now it's time for phase two. Did you hear that, Masay? Hurry, there are only two chimes left. All right, so there's only two chime, chimes left, so we're going to split into four and head up to this side of the vicinity, take everything out along the way, and hit these switches down. Hey. Another bell has tolled. Just one more chime, and all our work will have been for naught. And what do they give us when we want to save time? Three Dark Nuts, of course. One of which is the hardest Dark Nut in the game. So even though it's not terribly hard to fight them, you very well might run out of time at this point if you're unlucky. It's really unfortunate, but they just block so many of your attacks. It's kind of ridiculous, and sometimes you can just get really screwed with your setup. So, we already lost our sword laser. This is why I got Din's charm. We're gonna be Red Link for this. Red Link for Red Dark Nut. Two Red Dark Nuts. Not <laughs> Dark Nuts. No, Dark Nuts, to be precise. So, with this, we should be able to take them out twice as fast. One is already down. Uh, maybe if I can jump over... No? Okay. Come on. Come on. Don't make me waste this dense potion. There we go. Yeah! Second one down. Only one to go. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Opening. Yes! Okay. He should be weak right now. Just a couple more hits. Yeah! That was a good hit! That was a good hit. I got a spin attack on him. Okay. Come on. There we go. And done! He is down. Now that went super quickly, so I do have some time to grab these hearts. So, come on. There we go. Grab these hearts and head on up. <laughs> Just a few more moments and the ceremony would have been complete. You really are obsessed with stopping me, aren't you? Ah, <sighs> very well. I have not yet drained all of the Light Force housed in Princess Zelda, but what I have should suffice. I shall be transformed, unstoppable. But let me first attend to the pesky worms who would trifle with me. Humph! I will have no more of you interfering with my plans. Let me show you true power. Mm. 
Welcome to Vati Reborn. He pulls no punches and he hits hard. So what we want to do first and foremost is to take out the eyes that are floating around him. Avoid this black hole, whatever the frick it's supposed to be. And just concentrate on taking this out. Once that happens, he opens the eye on his stomach. And lucky. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. So now he has a few more of them, but no worries. We got them. He teleports around like the jerk he is. There we go. We're good. We're good. Oh, lasers. Nope, I am not about these lasers. Okay, yes, please stop. There we go. Crap, 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 crap. There we go. Yes, got a few swings on him. I'll check this. Oh, it's a fairy. Nice. And now his eyes are covered in that purple smoke, void vortex, whatever it's supposed to be. So what we want to do now is get rid of it. And what better way than to suck it away? Okay, it's great when he actually circles it around himself because that way you can just get them all at the same time if you're positioned correctly. Unfortunately, I had no such luck. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it? Yes! Did I get it? No, I didn't. It looked like I did. Okay, whoop. And done! Now he's gonna teleport around. And one more. There we go, come on! Okay, he's trembling. There's one more, one more round. Lasers. Two. Oh, that would have been a good chance to get all of them. Crap. Okay, oh, I'm, doing, I'm doing okay. We're doing well. There we go. There we go. They're all exposed now. So, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Oh no. Ah, oh, that teleporting, though. Okay. No, not quite. Come on, come on, come on. Come the frick on! Come on! You are being a jerkwad right now. And he... he I only got one hit on him. Great. Perfect. Okay, there we go. He's gonna move slowly. I think he should... Come on. Yes, and of course I got burned. I got burned. I got burned. I got burned. Okay, there we go. Two, three, and four. I'm gonna let him settle. No. There we go. No! Come on. Okay, are you gonna stop? Stop, stop teleporting. Somewhere? Maybe. There we go! Caught him! And he goes down. <laughs> well, you seem to have some fight in you. I commend your bravery. But you will not survive this. <laughs> I am filled with a power that you cannot begin to understand. Do you think that puny sword will save you from me? This is Vati transfigured. He looks completely different. The aim of this form is to shoot the eyes, or the closed eye lip things, and the correct ones will become red. You want to find them all, so we have that. If you run out of arrows, don't worry, the purple spiky things are your supply of them. So if you hit enough of them, eventually you will find some. So he's giving us a way to combat with him. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Now hit them all at once. There we go. And he's done. Okay. Now cancel this. Shoot that. Okay, that one's red. So it's gonna go this way. Yes. It's gonna go on the side. I've noticed that generally it sticks to one side of him. So you don't have to worry about, like, going from one end to the other. You just have to find out what direction as soon as you find one of 
the correct eyes. There we go. Come on. This way. This way. Slice them up and... Not quite enough. Red? Red. Okay, so it's probably going this way. Yep. Nope. Okay. There we go. So it's on the bottom again. Got some, got some arrows to work with. Please don't shoot anything. Crap. And he shot stuff. Okay, uh... This probably is not a good spot to stay in. Come on. Yes! Got it! Okay, one more cycle. I feel like there's one more. Uh, okay, so I know it's on top. Come on. Shoot that. And then... Nope, not quite. Yeah! So I need to go around the top of this. And how convenient! Come on! Come on! Yes! You went right under me! Perfect! Not quite, not quite done. Not quite done. So where's the blue? Where's the red? Where is the red? Sure, get get a full streak of blue there. Perfect. The perfect four that I chose not to shoot, of course. I'm gonna clear out some of these, some of these spikes, so I don't have to worry about it when I'm when I'm split. Especially out in the middle of here. Come on. Nope. Same one I got last time. Again. No. Yes! Okay, good. He's gonna stay still for that. And there we go. So we have to be on the left side of him this time. It looks fairly clear. So if I can just lure him over. Uh, come on. Come on. Yes! There we go! And he's down! What? What is this madness? I have the power of a god! I have unstoppable might! How could I lose to a child? You did it! Impressive! Now quickly, we must break the curse on Zelda. Oops. <laughs> so, Masay, now that you have the power of the Four Sword, you must return Princess Zelda to normal. <laughs> well, uh, apparently I was way ahead of you there, man. Way ahead of you. <gasps> Masay, thank you so much for saving me. When I was turned to stone, I saw visions of you. As if in a dream. <laughs> it looks like the curse has been broken. I'm glad we made it in time. No! The castle's collapsing! It's too dangerous here! Quickly! We must escape from the castle! Hmm. The door is blocked. We have no choice. Head back to the sanctuary! I guess it truly is becoming a sanctuary if we're taking cover in there the way we are. So, head down here quickly, quickly. We all remember where it is, right? Hasn't been too long ago. Head up, with Zelda following right behind us. Down these steps, and it should be right here. You will not escape, boy. Now, you will see the true power of the Light Force. For I've become Vati, the master of this world. The battle isn't quite over yet. He has one more form. Vati's Wrath. And oh boy, this one is no pushover. So what we want to do, we want to lure him out like that, take our cane Apache, and flip it up just like that. If you look at its base, oh crap, he's blocking me. Crap, oh, this is bad. 
This is bad. No, I was trying to roll. Okay, there we go. If you look at its base, you can see a doorway. Very vaguely. It just wouldn't block it. Here we go. And we have these in here. There is one that is not quite like the others. You want to target that one, and that'll cause his arm to become unstable. Head out and get hurt in the process, apparently. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. And he shoves you off. Forgot to mention that. All right, so now all we can do is wait. He needs to put his arm in the ground. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. Do that. Hop on this. Get away. And that went much smoother. But unfortunately, it's dark in here. So we're going to have to look. Here we go. This one. This one. Right here. If you attack the other ones, it does nothing. And you run out of time. It's unfortunate, but it does happen. But with that, both of his arms are down. And now he has wings. He's super mobile now, so you want to be super careful. Okay. Do this. Oh, yes! Oh, so close! This is following the concept of those cannons that we saw before. You want to be dead on with aligning yourself with those eyes. Or else this won't work also unfortunately even though your mirror images are usually invincible and they just disappear if you get hit by his electricity you will take damage regardless so if he's attacking de-summon your clones trust me on that you will take massive amounts of damage if you forget to do that so he's gonna do one more of those and now do this Yes. Ugh! Gah! Barely, barely not. Okay, can, can I? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna miss that one. That's okay. I'll wait for him to do what? One attack. Here we go. Line myself up. Hoop! And <laughs> not even close. Okay, prepare myself for the next one. It can be really hard to line yourself up. Here we go. Hoop! No! Crap! Maybe if I... Maybe if I... Spin it? Oh, here we go! Here we go! Hoop! There we go! Now walk up and take a few slashes at him. There! Yes! Did a lot of damage. Now, unfortunately... It was already really hard to get him to be vulnerable and align yourself properly. Now, the time crunch is going to be even tighter. Crap, okay, so I missed that one. That's fine. I'll just wait. Whoop. There we go. Do that. And he becomes less predictable, too. Can use them twice in a row now. Or three times, as the case may be. Hoop! Oh man, I did it! Holy moly, that was that was some thread in those needles. Okay. One, two, three. I'll just wait on it. I'm just gonna do that thing. Hoop! Nope! Not nope. Not quite. Not quite. Hoop. Hoop. Ah, so close. That. Nope. Okay. Didn't take damage because I canceled it just in time. Okay. Lined up. Yeah. Close. Oh crap. Went back a little bit too far. have to be a little bit closer? Probably. That might help. Watch the eyes. Watch the eyes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Nope, nope. I wasn't going to make that. There's no way I was going to make that. Ah! 
Barely. Has a lot to do with the timing, too. If you do it too late or too early, you can throw off the angle. There's a lot of factors in this, and it's really difficult to get it spot on. Okay, he's gonna do his thing. Crap. Oh boy, I'm really hurting. Okay, I'm gonna tank down my milk first. One, two. Okay, I'm not gonna make that one. That's fine. One, two, three. Okay. What? What? That totally didn't hit me. Okay, maybe it did, but still. Crap! That was an accident. Oh, he deals a lot of damage. Oh, shoot. Whoop. Yeah! Come on, c come at me! Come at me! Yeah! And there it goes. Fool! I... But the life force! My power! I had such power. <laughs> Masay, thank goodness you're safe. You defeated Vati. You were so brave, but we've lost so much. The castle, all those people. What's this? The curse. Defeating Vati seems to have broken the curse he cast upon me. Allow me to introduce myself to you, Princess Zelda. My name is Ezlo, Master of Minish Lore and Sorcery. The Mage's Cap was my creation, but its limitless power has caused nothing but trouble for your kind. Is there any way you can forgive me? I know many have fallen, and much of the castle has been destroyed. But it is too soon to give in to despair. The curse on me is broken, and Zelda still possesses some of the Light Force. Perhaps, together, we can do something to make things right. If one with a just heart wears this cap, things can be made right again. Princess Zelda, let your wishes be made real. all the people who had been turned to stone. They're all back to normal. Mm hmm. The hat is falling apart. It's overflowing with the power of life. The hat has the power to turn the thoughts of its wearer into reality. Vati's heart was filled with evil, and that was reflected in what he became. But it seems that Zelda's pure heart, coupled with the hat's power, has created a miracle. Hmm. It looks like the time for us to part has come. The Minish Door opens but once every century, and soon it must close. I must leave you both now and return to my homeland. I know I've caused you much suffering, but the Evil One's power has withered. The power of Princess Zelda herself 
has restored the light to Hyrule. Malmase, my journey with you has been exciting, to say the least. In fact, I'm more than just a little sad that we must part ways now. Please, accept this. <laughs> you know, I've never actually seen you wearing a cap until now. It suits you, little hero. Take care. Farewell, my friend. And this marks the end of The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. And oh boy, what a roller coaster it was! <laughs> to be honest, I originally wasn't really planning on Let's Playing this game. I believe I've mentioned this before, but I'm not all that big on top-down Zelda games. But this was recommended to me quite strongly, and eventually I was just kind of like, oh, sure, whatever, I'll give it a go. And then I started playing it, and I loved it. I, I went into it a little bit cautiously optimistic. I was like, yeah, I'm sure it's good, but I probably won't fall in love with it or anything. And lo and behold, look what happened. I just played the game and just the atmosphere, the characters, the dialogue, it all immediately charmed me. And to be honest, now I'm quite curious about other top-down Zelda games. Uh, and honestly, I feel like this game and this Let's Play is going to end up being my portal into that section of the Zelda franchise because I never got into it. I, I was always a 3D Zelda kid. <laughs> but this was a great introduction into it. And as a Let's Play, the most challenging thing of all was easily the Kinstones. You know, if you try to look at guides and stuff, every single one of them is different. None of them lists things the same way. None of them tells you to go in like a particular order that's really efficient. Because every time you play this game, the kinstones are different. There's random kinstones. There's shared kinstones. There's kinstones that, sh that shuffle after a certain point in the story. And although that's really cool in the context of like, oh wow, that's, that's really flexible of this game. It also made it challenging to make videos of. <laughs> To be honest, so that honestly was a bit of a struggle going through this series. But in the end, I feel really proud of myself. And I'm really happy that I went for it. And I'm glad that it turned out the way it did. And thank you all for watching. Your encouragement pulled me through, definitely. I hope you all enjoyed this series. Thank you so much for all of your support. And thank you for watching. And although this adventure is ending, we do still have a couple of more things to finish. Thus did Masay's quest come to an end. But surely, this is not the end of Zelda and Masay's adventures in Hyrule. The legend will continue. as long as the power of the Light Force echoes throughout the ages.